Asadakta mtazamaji karibu tena katika Sport Sugu e, Kumbuka ni tuna, tunasalia tuna vipindi chache e, Tumalizie mwaka suji safari yako imekuwa vipi katika huu mwaka 1222 Kuna walio jaliwa riski Alhamdulillahi shukuru mungu Kuna sisi ambao bado tunapambana e, Tutazidi kupambana manake a, Mungu alituambia kwamba zidi kupambana mwishoe e, Pana jambo ambalo e, litakuwa hapo mbele Na hata walio shindwa e, kuna na mwanzo manake wanasema kwamba e, penye mwisho pana mwanzo tutaanza tena na mambo yatakuwa sawa e, katika huu mwaka 2022 na tukielekea mwaka 2023 kwa hiyo e, karibu tena katika kipindi speciali e, kumbuka hapa ndipo makao makuu ya wanadada tunaangazia uh, mambo ambayo yanakumba wanadada e, katika nyanja za kisporti na leo hii e, tunao mjadala ambao tutazungumza hapa paruanja aje kuhusu aka Akademia na sporti usawa wake unakuja vipi na jukumu la wazazi katika katika kuhakisha wana wana wanafanya wana usawa katika akademia pamoja na sporti ni kipi ni jambo lipi ambalo wanafaa kulifanya ili mambo ya kuwe sawa hata jukumu ya makocha e, pamoja, pamoja na jamii yote kwa ujumla e, tutazungumzia hapa lakini kwa sasa e, tuzungumze katika mitandao za kijamii ya TGBS TV, TV Africa vile vile zangu za kijamii ya Kadeli Aita Facebook, uh, Twitter, Kadeli Aita Vibli Instagram, Kadeli Underscore Aita Tutazungumza uh, kimichezo uh, Kumbuka ni wiki ambayo tunelekea kumalizia uh, Kombe la dunia, mambo ya mekua Makubwa kule uh, Qatar, kule Warabuni uh, Sasa hivi tunelekea semifinali Je, nani atatinga karika hatua za finali Tutasubiri uh, tare kumi na nane uh, mwezi huu tuone Je, ni nani atachukua a uh, kombe hili la dunia. Kiari uko vipi? Niko salama na shukuru sana. Eh, ni, Lakini mbona katika ni hii ni shughuli yote mbona mm. hujataja haswa timu gani washabikia? Unajua sasa tunasikia tu. Oh, mnasikia tu. Tunasikia tu juju eh nini unajua kwa nini yangu kuna eh, kuna mso, eh, kuna timu ambazo eh, kuna uh, inaitwa pattern kuna pata ambayo au anashabikia timu zangu e, kuna t, kuna ala, kuna e unajua e leta e, e kuna asenali uje Kenya AFC Leopards uende katika mataifa utapata mimi ni shabiki wa Argentina sisemi kitu <laughs> sisemi kitu a warm Saturday afternoon to all the viewers this is the season 3 episode one. Mm. We can only say God is good. God has been great. We started the journey on the 29th of April. We set sail Sportsugu. Mm. Na, I don't know. I mm. just call it luck. Mm. Ule mtu alituanzia the first episode Sportsugu mm. season one, episode one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is our esteemed guest Leo. Mm -hmm. Tunamwona na tabasamu nimeona dimples kwa mbali. <laughs> Tunaanza naye tunamalizia naye. Tunaanza msema pana pomu, pana po, mwisho e, penye mwisho pana mwanzo. Sasa tunaanza mwisho kuna mwanzo. Mm -hmm. Sasa tumemaliza season 2 mm -hmm. tumeanza tena. Tunaanza tena. Tunaanza tena naye. Uh -huh. eh, eh. Our social media channels GBS TV on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, mm -hmm. my personal social media channels Kiari Mwangi on LinkedIn, Kiari Mwangi on Twitter, mm -hmm. the SMS 21144. Mm -hmm. And the question is for today, what is the role of parents and guardians mm -hmm. in balancing sports and academics? Kabisa. Jukumu la Juku, wazazi. Jukumu la wazazi. Kwa eh. hiyo watutumia rafa katika 21144 tuzungumzie eh. jukumu eh. lako ni lipi. Eh. Na kabla tena mm -hmm. tulete guest mm -hmm. tumkaribishe rasmi. Mm -hmm. Kumbuka aliacha ametufanya hivi. Alitufanya hivi kwamba hivi what's eh hivi alifanya alisema maso... kwamba masomo ya namba 8 pamoja na, na, na sport pamoja na sport. Eh. Sijui kiari ya miaka eh. hizo ulikuwa una balance vipi na masomo na sport. Labda tuanze hapo. Kiasi kulikuwa na pati pati ya mama. Ilikuwa ilikuwa katikati. Ndio hiyo. Lakini pia kulikuwa na hamu ya kucheza sport lakini tena on the other hand mm -hmm. Mwalimu naye anakuuliza homework ni aje? Homework iko vipi? Homework iko vipi? Kwa vipi? Eh. Ana pale kwingine kocha amenyamaza tu mm. anacheza vizuri kiasi. Kocha anataka eh. dini zake, timu yake eh timu eh. ikwe nini kidogo ikwe ndio. Mzazi naye anataka masomo ya juu. Yeah. Na ndio yeah. nimesema ah. mm -hmm. tuko na bahati. Okay. Tumesabaiana na yule ambaye tulianzana na ye Mm. Yule ambaye alitoka hapa ametufanyia WhatsApp amesema sports. Amesema mm. sports na academic lazima zipelekane pamoja. Mm. Hivi. Yeah. Eh? Mm. Na tukamzindikisha tukamwambia mm. kila laheri. Kila laheri. Tuko na bahati sana. Mm. 
her name is Betty Anyango. Yeye mm. mwenyewe atajitambulisha maana mm. sisi tunamjua kivitu. Ndio. Mm. Mm. Sisi tunamjua kama kama msichana wa polisi, msichana wa karao. Mm. Pale mtaani pale pale poi, pale gili. Atajitambulisha <laughs> zaidi. <laughs> But for us we have a conversation about sports and academic tumefunga shule two months holiday mm-hmm. watoto wako nyumbani watafanya vipi kuna nimeona a lot of holiday mm-hmm. holiday homework mm-hmm. sijui kuna ile tu tuition mm-hmm. na assignments na assignments mm-hmm. na nini iko kibao pale tena mm-hmm. mzazi anataka kufukuza mtoto na mkalia kwa nyuma na playstation w- wajua kwamba ni miezi mbili wa miezi mbili wako wa, wa, wa likizoni yeah. it's two months kuna two changamoto months. ambazo ziko kule uh-huh. kuna ps mtoto anacheza na tv kuna technology na teknolojia bila kupoteza wakati ndugu Kadeli. Eh. Unaona <laughs> shatu pass smile tabasamu kwa umbali. Tabasamu. <laughs> <laughs> Namkaribisha tena and mm-hmm. welcome to the show. Eh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, kwanza ni kushukuru Mungu <laughs> na kuwashukuru watu wangu <laughs> na actually hey. <laughs> hii uh, GBS TV asanteni sana kwa kuinvite tena. Mm-hmm. Actually mimi ni mdemo wa Poi, mm-hmm. Marengo Posta. Mm-hmm. Majina naitwa Betty Ochieng mm-hmm. and Nyango, mm-hmm. but watu wanajua kama Titi Kamara. Titi Kamara. Actually Titi Kamara mm-hmm. is a nickname. Mm-hmm. Jina ilikuja kabadilika asanti Mungu. Mm-hmm. Sasa ni coach Betty. Eh, Betty. Titi Kamara ni mchezaji football, mm-hmm. but size mimi ni coach. Mm-hmm. So watu wengi mtu akinita coach B, coach na jua mimi juzi. Mm-hmm. Mtu akinita Titi au huyo tuli grow na yeye. Mm-hmm. So eh, jina zangu kwa majina ni hizo. Mm-hmm. Titi Kamara ama Titi mm-hmm. ama coach B, but the main name is mm-hmm. ni coach B. Mm-hmm. Sasa coach B ni ile mzee sasa sema. Coach B. Coach B. Jua, sasa labda pia so that pia ndio tuanze safari eh. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Titi Kamara maana yake Titi Kamara wale tu alikuwa bingwa alikuwa bingwa alikuwa bingwa sijui alikuwa bingwa wapi atuambie atuambie <laughs> na pia tupatie historia yake fupi kidogo ya vile <laughs> ya, ya ball na okay. yale sport yake mm-hmm. ndio pia kabla sasa tufike ndio pia mtu ajue ubeti nani ubeti ndio tuko katika mwisho wa safari mwisho wa safari ndio sasa <laughs> okay iji na Titi Kamara ilitoka na tumeenda coach game ya Kenya na gini mm. tuko na my dad mm. uh, nikianza kutafuta football nilianza kama goalkeeper mm-hmm. nikakuja nikakuwa midfielder na kuja kwa striker mm-hmm. but ni kiang boots me hang boots kama full back left yani defender biki mm-hmm. biki full yani kama mm-hmm. pato kalo wa kupanda na kushuka eh wa kupanda mm-hmm. na kushuka mm-hmm. sasa hiji ni atiti kamara mm-hmm. tumeka study ya mimi na my dad na my friends wake mm-hmm. Sasa ni gini na Kenya. Mm. Titi Kamara alitusumbua hapo, alitusumbua hapo. Mm. Rafiki ya dad akasema na wewe kama msana wako. Hapo mm-hmm. ndio jina ilitokea. Mm-hmm. By the way, Titi Kamara. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hapo ndio jina jina ikakuwa mapo mpaka wa leo. Mm-hmm. But ida kwa mako wenye nime grow na hounds na football. Mm-hmm. Mtu ananijua tu honestly mtu amenijua juzi yeye hapa mm-hmm. ni coach B. Coach B. Watu wangu wenye na coach nikiomba nikianza kuomba mbati Titi Kamara hata waelewe ni mchezaji mgani. Titi Kamara. Na wajui wataweza <laughs> Na pia ah. kuna usuli wa hilo jina Titi Kamara mm-hmm. sijui ilitokea wapi. Sijui kuna ulitutajia uli kwamba ulikuwa mm-hmm. inspired na mchezaji fulani ulikuwa unamtazamia ndio ni mchezaji wa oh, Titi, Titi Kamara. Titi Kamara. Mm-hmm. Titi Kamara alikuwa mchezaji wa gini. Alikuwa, alikuwa mchezaji wa gini. Alikuwa mchezaji wa gini. Mm-hmm. Lakini sasa pia ndio tufikie kwa mjadala. Mm-hmm. Biti tupatie historia yako umchezea timu gani. Unajua sasa ukisema umetezea oh. timu mm-hmm. na Kadeli ananyang'elea na sema labda ni Baragoi Guns. Unajua ni Baragoi Guns. Okay, actually uh, nime nikianza ni football nilianza kama mchezaji wa Maisa. 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 Madhari Youth Sports Association. Yeah. Yeah. Ah nikatoka hapo nikaingia Makolandas mm-hmm. nikacheza mimi kas kidogo mm-hmm. actually tulikuwa tunacheza kwa teams mingi because during our time kokuwa na women premier league okay. eh, so ilikuwa ndio mimi nilikuwa mchezaji wa Makolandas lakini mm-hmm. ungenipata kwa mini cast unipate Maisa mm-hmm. but nimecheza Maisa nikaenda Makolandas mm-hmm. nikatoka hapo nikaingia national team Ah, Nime hang boots ni kwa tunikuwa Makolandas na national team national team yeah, national team Makolandas sasa hivi kwa division Division 1 Division 1 women yes, yes, yes. So kwa kifupi unajua pia ndiyo mm-hmm. tukija katika ile tunasema ile the meet sasa mm-hmm. already watu wako wamejua bete ama coach B mm-hmm. lakini labda mmoja mimi najua titi yani mm-hmm. acha tujaribu kusema hiyo <laughs> hapa lakini ndio tuende break mm-hmm. kadeli acha tukumbushe our dear viewers mm-hmm. our dear topic ya leo ni sports and academic mm-hmm. and how to create a balance mm-hmm. kati ya masomo mm-hmm na sport na sport na sport yeah. mmoja mm-hmm. yeah. kwa hiyo uh, ndo huyo titi kamara kumbuka ana historia nzuri amechezea timu ya taifa ya Harambe Stars kwa upande wa kina dada na akachezea Makolanda sasa hivi ni kocha ni safari ambayo inaonyesha ama ina ninawapa wale wengine uh, 
mshawasha ama ama wenye wanatazamia e, kuingia kujitosa katika safari kama yake e, ya transitioning yeah. kuwa mche, kuja kuwa mchezaji mpaka sasa hivi ni coach nzuri yeah. sana yeah. kwa hiyo tuta, tuta, tuta piga tama la maji, la maji kisha tukirejea tutalizamia hilo jambo uh, kuhusu wazazi na majukumu yao ya kuhakikisha kwamba kuna usawa eh, katika sporti na akademia ya mtoto wao yeah. sisi tunatoka kidogo kisha tunarejea everywhere gbs ndo sisi hawa mtazamaji karibu tena katika sehemu ya pili uh, kwenye kwenye kipindi hichi cha sport sugu ambapo tutakuwa tunaangazia akademia na sporti uh, usao utakuwa utakuja vipi e, kwa wana ambao tuko nao kama wazazi au sisi unajua kwamba mimi ni mchanga kidogo kama wazazi <laughs> mtaweka vipi usawa katika akademia na sporti ya mwanao ama akademia na sporti zitamba tana vipi kwa hiyo unaweza tuzungumzia katika uh, rafa 2 double four eh, tusemezane kumbuka hichi ni kipindi chako na siku zote kiari tunasema kwamba kama hawapo kama hawapo sisi hatupo ah, sisi hatupo eh. mm -hmm. na sasa mtufundisha leno lingine leo eh. pana mwisho eh, penye mwisho penye mwisho pana mwanzo pana mwanzo mm -hmm. penye mwisho tulimalizia mm -hmm kutoka season 1 mbenye tulianzia tukamaliza sasa nasikia coach B lakini najaribu na kutoka kwa titi kama nataka kuingia kwa coach B ile ni mwanzo sasa kuanzia leo ndio pia mimi nijifunze nitakuwa kutoka leo sasa story ya titi tumemaliza coach B sasa coach B coach B ndio sasa coach B ako hapa coach B ya bana ndio kwenye mwanzo huu ndio huu mwanzo huu unajua kwenye mwanzo kuna mafunzo ni mapya mafunzo ni kuna nuru inakunu mwangaza mambo ni mapya hata hiyo style tumeona mpya hata hiyo style ni mpya ndio hiyo sasa mimi tu nile tumezoea yote tisa a warm welcome again to our Saturday show. Mm. Remember this is Sports Ugu, a dedicated women only sports channel. Hapa mm tunazungumzia -hmm. masuala ya wanadada peke yake. Peke yake. And I think we are the only media house in Kenya ambayo inaangazia moja kwa moja only women. Wachunguze utafiti ufanywe ni ndio sisi ndio sisi ndio sisi sisi na wanadada tuko hivi tu, eh, tuko Be, hivi eh, hapa hivi. kabisa eh, mm. unajua tuliambiwa whatsapp group ya beti ya mm. sports na academia hapa hapa hiyo mm. hapa kwa hiyo sign language ya leo sign language hapa academia na sport hiyo hapa hata nafikiria beti tukitoka hapa atakuwa akifanyia watu hapa hapa ndio hiyo no you are talking about the role of the parents manake kweli wa mambo na labda pia tutaweka beti hot seat hapa kitu mm -hmm. kiasi mm -hmm. because tumesema this important to balance both sports Kwa na academics na masomo ma 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 ndio mm -hmm. beti mm -hmm. mzazi uwe kama mzazi kwanza yes. kabla tutaingia kwa coach yeah, mimi kama mzazi uwe kama mzazi mm -hmm. kwanza because it starts with you so it starts with you yeah. and uh, na kuna parent na slash guardian of course yeah. ah ebu tupatie what are the role of the parent and guardian katika hiyo hiyo tunasema hiyo balancing mm -hmm. act uh, that's a very good question actually um a role ya parent na guardian mm -hmm. ina play important kwa huyu mchezaji mm -hmm. kwa sababu unajua mzazi anaenda kukuwa ni kama like mungu mm -hmm. mzazi ya kuna mtoto usiku na mchana mm -hmm. guardian na kuna mtoto kila mahali mm -hmm. uh, tunaambiwa hata before mtoto hajaonekana tabia yake mm -hmm atangalia mzazi kwanza. Naam. Naam. tabia mzazi kwaje ataiga whatever mzazi anafanya. Mm. You understand? Mm. So, huyo mzazi akikamil kwa huyo mchezaji kwa talent yake, mm. ana encourage why? Kwa sababu ana encourage uh, spiritually, emotionally, mm. mentally kila kitu. Mm. Akonae kila siku. No. 
ataangalia ile chakula na kula mm-hmm. ataangalia vile masazila na lala mm-hmm. ataangalia masomo yake vile iko yeah. because when they live in the same same place mm-hmm. najua wakiamka wako pamoja wakilala wako pamoja mm-hmm. wakikula wako pamoja okay wazazi wengine pia mjua wameenda kazini mm-hmm. but still anakuja kwa hiyo nyumba tu maalum mchezaji huko mm-hmm. lazima atataka kujua alishindaji the whole day mm-hmm. so mzazi na pili role kubwa inaweza that mm-hmm. ato mtoto akienda game mm-hmm. Mzazi akikuwa hapo it's a very good encouragement. Okay. Because mimi nimeona na saa hii. Yeah. The today's parents big up mtawapiga mm. makofi. Uh-huh. Compared na mimi ni wazazi wangu. Mimi mm. mamangu aliniona kisa football once. <laughs> once. Uh-huh. Yeye miaka yote. Uh-huh. Elise kwa Leona alikuwa so shocked. Aliniambia kumbe wewe ni mdidi. Alishanga. Eh, alishanga. 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 Kutaka Hata hakutaka kujua. Uh-huh. Alikuwa na kwamba football msaidie na kitu. Na uh, uh, already you know uh, parents uh, they are the first blessings kwa watoto. Uh, when you speak blessing um mtu anaenda mahali. No. No, no. No, no. Yeah. Because uh, kama nita kwa story for another day. Na kukumbusha kama my mom like if football size ulikata mm-hmm. ndio tuna buy nao maziwa sahi. Tuna pata stima eh. Tuna pata bills za kutatilisha. Im football uliko umekata. Mm-hmm. So tunaona wazazi una pilipat kubwa sana mm-hmm. because okay. I know the first au ndo blessing ya kwanza ya watoto. Mm-hmm. Ukishikilia mtu wako vimkono, mm-hmm. believe me anaenda mbali. Mm-hmm. Na nimeona na wazazi wa saa hii wanakuja kwa training, wanakuja kwa matches. Mm-hmm. Yaani wazazi wako okay. which is very very important. Okay. Which okay. is honestly. Mm-hmm. Hata mtoto kama anakanikana lose hope, mm-hmm. mzazi akimshikilia ataanguka. Uh-huh. Basi tuko tunaanguka tu unatembea tu. Nani atakubeba? Unaweza kata iko hapo. Labda bahati yako. Tuseme tu bahati kidogo ndio kadeli ajue. Unajua mm. Ekadeli, unajua mm. baba ya Beta alikuwa mchezaji sugu sana wa Gor Mahia. Ehe. Nakatiza. Na Harambe Stars. Kile alikuwa mchezaji sugu. Yeah. Lakini sasa pale mtaani tuko tukimuita Sony. 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 Polisi. sasa sasa lakini unajua sisi ilikuwa tumesema wanapona mwisho sasa. Sasa kipata nenda muita baba Beti. Now, sikuizo at least the parenting tunaweza sema siku ile siku ilikuwa na hiyo tunasema Yes. mzazi yuko mm. hayuko mm. 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 but now in terms of e, the day um mtoto wa squeeze sasa kuna kitu yetongo holy nutrition mm-hmm. sasa watoto wamefunga ni mingi two months ni mingi na wana holy nutrition mizimbili ni mingi mizimbili but again we are the same parents we are the same guardians the same community mm-hmm. tuna complain of teenage pregnancy mm-hmm. ile report ya national aids control council ilisema new hiv aids infection mm-hmm. it's it's, in, it's high teenage na, na teenage na nini mm-hmm. and then on the other hand tunawaambia and then mcheze sporty mm-hmm. na, so it's a it's a conflicted situation tuko nayo mm-hmm. so why do you think this rule because hapa hapa mtoto anakuambia na mimi nimekuwa shule mm-hmm. na sasa niko break. Uh-huh. Ako break. Na wewe sasa unamwambia uh-huh. hata kama uko break uh-huh. ufai kuacha vitabu kabisa. Yeah. Uh-huh. Na tena kumbuka huu mwezi ni mwezi ambao kuna sherehe, una mambo mengi sana. Yeah. Shamra shamra. So, uh-huh. Uh-huh. As a parent, yeah. uh, anaweza anaweza patia na advice like vile mimi nafanya na wangu. Uh-huh. Wangu wachezi sports pasi ya football kama anaona mm. yeah. anafanya dancing uh-huh. okay. na volleyball kidogo but mm. ameegea sana kwa dancing okay. bado in talent yeah. 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 so yeah. Yeah. so yeah. kitu nafanya yeah. anasoma asubuhi mm. sana na kwa dancing okay. uh-huh. no na mm. so hata hao hao wazazi uh, wa football mm-hmm. wacha mtoto afanye study zake asubuhi okay. sana ne na unaangalia masaju pia lazima pia afanye house chores yeah. uh-huh. Ya kweli mm, pia fanye kazi ya home because yeah. hata kati yeah. ya mbocha anafanya kila kitu vile uh-huh. zezo mati mm-hmm. amke uh-huh. ataoga uh-huh. ataosha nyumba ama osha uh-huh. vyombo uh-huh. alafu ingia study zake okay. akisha soma ikifanya lunch time akule uh-huh. aende hiyo football uh-huh. for 2 to 3 hours uh-huh. arudi uh-huh. nyumbani uh-huh. ujui inafanya kwanza watoto wetu uh-huh. afikirie mambo unachoje wote hivi umesema mambo ya early pregnancy vijui uh-huh. 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 mind iko ni iko idol but unaona betema afanye hizo vizote akuja juni amechoka ni kama ndo job <laughs> so it helps your your studies in the morning mm-hmm. and uh, football in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. Na kidogo kiarie mm-hmm. kuna changamoto katika malezi. Mm-hmm. Kumbuka kwamba wazazi wa siku hizi mm-hmm. uh, tuseme watoto saizi wamefunga shule. Mm-hmm. Tutapata mtoto nyumbani na kija kazi. Mm-hmm. Uh, mzazi eh, ana kazi yake mm-hmm. uh, ambayo inampatia riziki. Mm-hmm. Kwa hiyo anagemea sana upande wa kazi anaachia mtoto akija kazi mm-hmm. na ule kija kazi mm-hmm. hata uh, hata mnini ule mtu hata mrulu ule mtoto mwenyewe yeah, yeah. anataka hiyo 
unapata kwamba majukumu ya mtoto mm-hmm. yanaachiliwa kidogo kwa sababu mzazi anatoka kazini asubuhi anakuja jioni jiu, analala na very good that's a good, good point mm-hmm. now ah uh, hiyo sasa tena narudi na kwa mzazi mm-hmm. okay. me i encourage most of the parents mm-hmm. we instill discipline mm-hmm. na nipata na huyu mtoto unjua watu wengi wamejifanya ni kama sasa wanataka kuondo wenye nyumba ukiona ukiona huyu mbochi sit nasema mbochi ama household uh-huh. yeah uh-huh. uh, anataka kumfinyilia because nyumba ni yetu Mm-hmm. but um mama lazima muonyeshe you have to respect everyone mm-hmm. mpaka huyu mfanye kazi mm-hmm. so nikisema rules hii ndio nafanywa na mimi hata nikarije mzazi upige simu kila saa uconfirm mm-hmm. because pia na watu ni wajanja mm-hmm. wanazingiza mfanye kazi kwa mfuko kabisa ambia mama nilisoma ambia mama nilisoma una sasa sasa hiyo hapo kuna shida the way amesema but me i believe in discipline mm-hmm. okay na mtoto anafaa kujua mamia akisema hii i don't repeat twice mm-hmm. Ndiyo. Mzazi afai ku repeat any any statement mara mbili uh-huh. akisema ni kuamka uoge ufanye hii udosome uh-huh. eh, eh, football urudi nyumbani alafu pia kuna kitu inaitwa kafi hiyo uh-huh. uh-huh. kama wangu akifika 501 kwa gate uh-huh. nitakufungia nje ulikuwa unafanya kabisa kuna kafi. lazima kuna kafi uh-huh. because ndio twasonyi kwa hiyo ndio hiyo tutapata kwamba wazazi wengi siku hizi watoto saa moja usiku mtu baada ya kujipa kuna jiza ima sana fanya nini unaona hiyo pia ina ina kwa changamoto hiyo hiyo discipline the key word is discipline and then also labda pia kadeli just to your point ni community lakini beti wamelewa mm-hmm. na community. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo mama wa jirani ile plot 10 kule do number 20 ndio hiyo. Eh, alikuwa akiona beti ana chapa kona anamchuna. Anamchuna. Eh, Nakumbuka. Eh, so, eh. so, so labda kama beti alikuwa amesema nyakati hizo mm-hmm. sasa siku hizi watu mm-hmm. vile wanasema wameachiliwa kiasi kuna mm-hmm. hiyo nini? Mm-hmm. So nyakati hizo if asubuhi morning na hours walikuwa supposed kufanya kitu fulani mm-hmm. unajua ni, ni within the community mm-hmm. generally kulikuwa na macho mengi. You know many eyes. Yeah. Mm-hmm kabisa kuliko macho macho mimi ya kuangalia na tema but again tutoke kwa parents kidogo beti mm-hmm. let's go to coaches mm-hmm. na nikiongea coaches because coaches pia wako na kitu kitongo KPI they are appraisal mm-hmm. pia wao wana targets mm-hmm. coaches anataka the top best team mm-hmm. best volleyballers mm-hmm. best yeah. swimmers mm-hmm. best for the coach mm-hmm. and i'm saying this labda kwa heshima kubwa because mm-hmm. uko na nini mm-hmm. coach labda kwake unless otherwise mm-hmm. hatataka kujua masomo sana yeah. mm-hmm. kabisa the coach mm-hmm. ziko on sporting performance juu yake si ndio but mostly ziko on sporting performance mm-hmm. pia unajua pia job yake iko hiyo uh, ziko linked hiyo yeah. ziko as per perform as per perform oh. pia nini uh-huh. mm-hmm. so i think uh, tutoke kwa parents and guardians mm-hmm. because tumeona mm-hmm. their key role mm-hmm. apo mesema ni kweli ile kuweka macho ile kwa company mtoto kwa mazoezi tizi yeah. na nini mm-hmm tuingilie coach. Uh-huh. Manake coach how do you know coach anaweza ingishaje historia? Hiyo tunasema hiyo WhatsApp tunajiunga leo. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's a good point as well. Uh, unajua to, to be fair uh-huh. kama kama coach. Uh-huh. Kwanza sasa zini mupri mupri fani kutana na coach amekuwa mzazi. Uh-huh. Ndoko ni experience. Okay. Unaona? Uh-huh. Sasa tunataka kuangalia chini wenye watu wana makuti zao na watoto. Uh-huh. But sasa tuna unataka kumitu coach at least pia kuna watoto mm-hmm. atakuwa encourage kujua mm-hmm. ingekuwa ni mtoto wangu namfanyia hivi mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. because huu mtoto sasa leo unamcoach una already uko kama mzazi wake mm-hmm. na wewe ni coach wake at the same time yeah. unaona mm-hmm. hata wewe kama kama coach unataka kuona mtu bright kwa mm-hmm. but you might not be bright all of us yeah what team atuzi kwa namwanzi so wote of course but at least una encourage mtu in knowledge is power mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. leo ni kitu mimi nimeona sasa kama coach mm-hmm. masomo ni kitu ya maana sana Mm-hmm. So there is no way ndakosa ku encourage mtoto wangu kusoma. Okay. Huyu mchezaji lazima tena namwambia unaweza kuwa ndio au party straight as. Mm-hmm. But at least uko na ile idea naweza fanya hii naweza andika hii naweza fanya hii. Mm-hmm. But tunaenda hiyo WhatsApp group hiyo mlisema. Eh ah wewe ndio mlisema wewe ndio mlisema by the way. Hapo wewe ndio mlisema sports sports na sports, sports na academic na academic. Mm-hmm. It's very very important honestly. It's mm-hmm. very important because okay. unaangalia pe future ya mtoto. Okay. Mm. Tusengati ati ati na, na gemeti kazi yangu mimi nachunga kazi yangu peke yake mm. nitakuwa mcoach mwanfair 
kabisa. Okay. Coach you have no. to be fair. Okay. Because you're treating this child kama mtoto wako. Mm. As much as ni mchezaji, kumbuka ni mtoto wako. No. Because uh me I'll tell you for free. Ule coach ali ni coach ni kiwas you don't know 15 years. Mm -hmm. Na ongea naye mpaka saa hii. Ama nipatie advice. Yeah, as my dad. Of course. Uh -huh. Unaona? Yeah. Because alikuwa kama father figure. Yes. Na alikuwa na watoto by then. Mm -hmm. Unaona? Mm -hmm. So it's easier to go back kumuongelesha yeah, and nipatie maweza A B C D. Mm -hmm. Changamoto ambaye coach me hapa na na hii coaching imefanyia na ana encourage. Uh -huh. Unaona? Mm -hmm. So wale alikuwa kama baba yangu. Mm -hmm. Same goes na how wachezaji niko nao saa so come a coach mm -hmm. always encourage your players mm -hmm. maso kwanza una kwanza coach mzuri anafa kuanga ana follow up na wazazi anaisha mm -hmm. grades za mtoto mm -hmm. grades mm -hmm. ukiona na ana concentrate kwa football sana amesahau mwambia unamwambia listen mm -hmm. na kupata time out si umfukuzi team mm -hmm. with a lot of respect ni you see kuna mtoto and it happens kuna mtoto tunasemanga kwa vitabu ni todhi lakini but the truth of the matter is masomo imemkataa yani wanajaribu yani hawana nini ani kule lugha siku hizo wanasemanga wana social distance yeye na masomo yeye na masomo ame social distance sasa kama hiyo honestly mimi kama coach says it was up unajikaza tu na sasa hapo ndo unaingiza sasa mzazi kabisa sasa mnakuwa Ninyi ninyi wawili wewe na mzazi uh -huh. coach na mzazi uh -huh. mtu ndo katikati okay. muna mu encourage in every aspect uh -huh. honestly okay. na lazima pia jo tu knowledge is power knowledge ndio kila kitu uh -huh. Uh -huh. knowledge ndio kila kitu uh -huh. asa kuna huyu mwingine uh -huh. hajui sporti sana uh -huh. Lakini masomo ako mm. sawa mm -hmm. na mzazi anataka sana mm -hmm. uh, masomo uko sawa nataka pia ukuwe unacheza mm -hmm. ukuwe na uh, tuseme sporti fulani kama riadha unakimbia mm -hmm. kama ni uh, football unacheza hapo mm -hmm. pata kuwa vipi ah uh, it's, uh, it's very simple as well mm. sasa hiyo ni you sasa hiyo coach ayuko kwa hiyo part ayupo hiyo sasa ni mzazi ni mzazi because huyo ni mzazi atabeba huyo mtoto ama jamtu wangu ni bright mm -hmm. shule which is very important mm -hmm. sasa unataka tu apart from masomo mm -hmm. wacha kwa ni mzuri kwa kudance mm -hmm. ni mzuri kwa football ni mzuri mm -hmm. kwa netball mm -hmm. lakini kama ni mtoto wako unafaa kuona mu observe naam unaangalia nini anapenda ni music peleke kwa music jo hizi kwa tuti mtoto ni masomo tu yani yeye akona tu anaweza fanya wako na talent au wako nazo na kama mzazi ndo anafaa kujua sababu coach honestly ajui anything so mzazi anamshika mtu wake mkono na jua mtu wangu anataka kudance anataka kwenda ballet anataka kwenda athletic huko ndo unampeleka so so unasema talent development tuitoke tuitoe kwa mwalimu tuirudishe kwa parent kwa azazi parent anafaa kuona jo talent mtu wake mara ya kwanza before the teacher before yes. the teacher before the coach because before, before anyone huyu ah. mtoto ukimza mm -hmm. kama ukiza mtoto wako si umemuona kigro mm -hmm. anapenda mm -hmm. kuchukua microphone anataka kuimba huyu anataka sana jo kuimba mm -hmm. anataka tu kuimba mwingine anataka tu piga madrum na nani alijua nani alijua ya kwanza ni mzazi mzazi ah umeelewa sasa kabisa ni mzazi alijua the first coach wa mtoto anakuwa ni mzazi so i think beti i think up i think the biggest advice which i think i'm getting so far ni ati in this conversation na sports na academia leo ku balance mm -hmm. i think the parent ndio ana 70 80% yes and like i think that's what you are saying yes. that's yes. what you are getting to mm -hmm. yes. like before the teacher shule before the coach kwa kiwanja ni mzazi mm -hmm. the parent ndio and that's why na iga wazazi wa, wa, wa create time okay kwa sababu ya create time na watoto wa create time hata mimi najikazanga tu alafu utafunga tu kajicho unajikia za unataka kushua kumek sure likwaje siku yake ilikwaje yani at least aone presence ya mamia hapo one any mamia amekuwa na ukana mimi because me i normally tell the today's parents i i i upload them because mimi nikona siku babangu alikuwa na kujanga tu time ya national team peke yake 
Time <laughs> <laughs> national team tutamuona hapo. Yeah. Hizi zingine hata yeah. utamuona karibu. Yeah. So yeah, national team tunakuja uh, that's my daughter. Huyu yeah. sana wangu. Yeah. 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 Alafu mm. kuna kuna huyu mtoto mm-hmm. tuseme ni mzuri tu kwa kimasomo mm-hmm. lakini mzazi pale ame unajua kwamba hii generation ama kizazi hichi mm-hmm. na teknolojia mm-hmm. tuko hivi. Mm-hmm. Kwa mtu mzazi amembaia PS. Mm-hmm. Sasa mtoto wakati mwingi unampata pale. Mm-hmm. Kama kama hasomi ama anafanyi homework ako kwa PS. Ako kwa PS. Mm-hmm. Na kuna sporti, mm-hmm. football, mm-hmm. kuna hizo hoki ambazo mm-hmm. zinaweza msaidia kimwili mm-hmm. na pia kimawazo ni nini. Mm-hmm. Lakini huyu mtoto unapata mm-hmm. kwamba amegemea katika hii PS. PS. Kwanza 1 meter wazazi reality. Mm. PS is so addictive. Mm. It is so addictive. Mm. Uken carry uki release mtoto na muachilie hapo mm. hata fanya kitu kingine. Mm. And which is so unfair mm. and kwa mtoto yani sasa. Mm. So EPS upia utaki kumkazia sana mm. una limit hiyo ndio iko na time there. Yaani mm-hmm. hata ungampata fati means kwa EPS. Mm. Kama ni mingi sana 45. Mm-hmm. Lakini because kama mzazi mimi anakuambia mm-hmm. oh hiyo pass mtongo amepiga alicheza kwa PS jana. Mm-hmm. Alafu na mkuta kando na mzee PS ala kama sama ngapi? Elka, like 2 to 3 hours. No 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 no. Hizo uh, uh, masaa mingi sana. Hizo yeah, masaa mingi sana 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 sana. Hiyo PS watu wengi kule huyo just set kwa na PS. Yeah. Yeah. Technology iko kwa watu. Honestly. Eh tumejua size vile tuko wazima. Which is fine. Aha. Atu kuanguka bado. Bado. Sasa huyo mtoto una make sure ati upesa usikwati ni mama una, una kwa mama hard sana mm-hmm. wacha upesa acheze masa kidogo sana mm-hmm. kidogo sana pesa iko na masa kidogo sana because mm-hmm. ukimwachilia totia ana atako ni free time mm-hmm. my friend wewe umeisha na mtoto ndio hiyo mm-hmm. na kadeli uh-huh. wacha tupige tamala maji lakini nataka mm-hmm. tukirudi eh mm-hmm. maana ke bit ametupeleka through issue mwalimu coaches eh mm-hmm. tuongelee facilities maana ke pia mm-hmm. after ndio tumeongea ndio mtoto anataka acheze acheze atachezewa asome asubuhi asome asubuhi sana nzuri sana aende sio tifafai for one ku sg roll call amerudi lakini atachezea wapi unajua tutazungumzia atachezea wapi facilities na tena kwa manufaa ya mzazi yeah. unajua kwamba tumezungumza mm. masomo ikuwe hivi mm. masomo ikuwe hivi mm-hmm. lakini hatujataja kwamba mm. umuhimu wa kuwa vipi wa kuwa hivi wa mtoto mm-hmm. ni upi ni upi okay. okay. yeah. kwa hiyo sisi tunapiga tama la maji kidogo kisha tutarejea tutazamia swala hilo na tutazungumzia kwa undani everywhere gbs na mtazamaji ndio sisi hawa kumbuka tunazungumzia ya hivi na hivi kisha hapa ikuwe hivi ndio tu ndio mjadala wetu wa leo hapa e, katika kiwambo chako cha GBS TV kama we ni mzazi je unasikiza umejifunza lipi na utachukua hatua hatua ipi ili kuhakikisha kwamba mtoto wako na masomo pamoja na sporti uh, imeambatana tuko hapa tunazungumzia na kocha beti atuzungumzie katika GBS TV Africa mtandao za kijamii Arafa Tuma 21144. Kerie. Ah, shukrani. Mambo imekuwa sawa. Mambo liko yente. <laughs> hivi na hivi. Uh, at, uh, no no no. Mm. Bita amesema kuna social distance. Ah, kuna ah, kuna social. social distance mm-hmm. ni hapa na hapa. Ni hapa na hapa. Na mm-hmm. pia tuna encourage tukusikia ati pia kuna time. Mm-hmm. Kuna kitu ametajia discipline mm-hmm. na akasema I think you ndio cement. Ah. cement mm-hmm. in both hizo in both sports na academic hapo ni mwana gulu ile gulu ile shikanisha katikati uh-huh. it's called discipline it's discipline ni fa eh sasa hapo pia mimi nimejivunia nimesema 5 for 1 hiyo ni take home nimesikia mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> Hata hata nami wakati ambapo nitapata uchumba nipate mtoto mm-hmm. ninajifunza. Mm-hmm. Nimejifunza. Yeah. Bas mm-hmm. ndio yente. <laughs> <laughs> Sasa kuna kabla tuende uh-huh. katika ile ni infrastructure. Uh-huh. Ama tuseme facilities. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
kuna kitu biti ametuguzia about wale watoto wanakaa kimalenge malenge 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 Mita, wapo tu wako tu na hapa kuna kitu naitwa nguo non communicable diseases na kumbuka kuna siku tumetembea na wewe tukaambiwa na wadis watoto wa 10 to 13 years uko na prone to diabetes tumetembea na ile tukaambiwa inashuka kwa sikio ni inactive inactivity na ku physical exercise hata mwaka jana tulikuwa katika ki hafla fulani ya kansa na watoto walihusishwa eh na tena tena kumbuka wakasema kitu ya about physical exercises siku hiyo kulikuwa na wewe na wakasema the teachers in schools wana struggle kumaliza syllabus naam kwa hivyo pale kulikuwa na pe wanaweka double maths wanaweka double maths ama chemistry unajua yet pe pe is an activity by itself it's it's as important as the english as the maths and the sciences as the science na nini so so even before good facilities because beti i think kwa hiyo mjadala and we're just talking about getting there yo whatsapp mm-hmm. ikuwa pamoja mm-hmm. this is more to teachers yeah. because you deal you know you cut you, know, you deal with both because as a coach as a parent and yeah. cutting through yeah ni mwalimu situation kama wewe ni coach wewe ni mwalimu yeah of course mm-hmm. by the way yeah that too mm-hmm. but also a teacher mm-hmm. so what do you think about it honestly hiyo naonea naonea walimu huruma kwa sababu mm-hmm. wanakimbizana na time kwa sababu time ni ndogo si ni yeah. ni, ni the same yeah. would you as much as kalenda ile change syllabus haiku change yeah. syllabus haiku change na mm-hmm. so unaona hao walimu huruma mm-hmm. unaona anaona kai mimi nakimbiza na syllabus kwa sababu pia mm-hmm. asipomaliza syllabus asipomaliza principal na mgongo wake eh. wazazi kwa mgongo wake jumtu ata perform mm-hmm. ndio unaona mm-hmm. because hata changamoto hata tunapata huko kwa shule mm-hmm. unapata mtoto anaambiwa akumaliza ile subject so atoke nje hajafanya assignment kwa sababu eh akuma no aise nini kwa training kwa sababu akuma za ile assignment unaelewa mwalimu because unaangalia kwa kwa each and every nini end of term kuna kitu inaitwa report ya nini mwalimu lazima andike report mtu andika report kama mtu ajama na syllabus so ndo changamoto wako nayo because time ni kidogo time ni limited but syllabus ile remain the same na hapo ndo wananyanganya wanachukua pe which is pe is the is the most important one because it is also and related to that kabla to the qual facilities kuna kitu kingine i think it's a kadel who picked it that day about the getting the right qualifications am getting the right people to teach the pe because kitambo ilikuwa maana kepili kwa kurukaruka na kurukaruka tu na apart at least is a bit ata cheka tu kibi yake apart at least nakumbuka sasa apart at least nakumbuka wanasema ule mwalimu wa maths ana double up kwa pe teacher yani pe ama physical education there are no specialized teachers unajua just like kuna mwalimu wa english mwalimu wa swahili sasa wacha nuka short tu kidogo tunashukuru Mungu mmesema mambo technology mm-hmm. which yeye ametusaidia hata sisi saizi okay. during our times mm-hmm. ni yo huo tisho wa pia alikuwa ni apart together mm-hmm. tunasema tunaona but you see now mimi ile shule niko mm-hmm. mimi ni specifically wa physical education exactly. 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 sasa hapo mm-hmm. ndo tumesaidia watoto wa kisasa mm-hmm. because pia lazima kuna credential anyway mm-hmm. mm-hmm. auza mkatoa asubuhi nachukua kadeli nachukua kia mm-hmm. kuja mwende mkakopi hii teachers haiwezekani mm-hmm. haiwezekani because mm-hmm. tumefundishwa mpaka ku manage hata nini eh, me, mental yao mm-hmm. yani unafundishwa una vitu mingi like mtu ah. yeye atakikuwa akikuwa na meltdown inatosha na aje mm-hmm. na jovenda mhandle mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. because pia na funny na for true for nani mm-hmm. of course kuna mwingine nataka kiku explain kitu mm-hmm. ametupa mkono mm-hmm. yeye kona asira mm-hmm. na leo mtu wako tu 7 years yeah. na huyu mwingine is so calm mm-hmm. anakuja na kuambia ile fanyike ile fanyike ile fanyika mm-hmm. so unatoa ile tofauti ndio hiyo so hizo zote tumefundishwa shule mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. kwa hizo makosa tunafanya mm-hmm awezi amkatua asubuhi na sababu anakuwa coach kabisa kabisa na lazima pusome na ndio na ndio maana kesho nimesema kadeli ndio maana kimeleta tu kwa issue ndio pia our our viewers our, na wazidi kujua mm-hmm. even how wana blame mwalimu because at times unasikia mm-hmm. wanasemanga mm-hmm eh ule mwalimu uh-huh. apendi kufundisha watoto wetu kuna bit chana ana ana anazo anazo kidogo anazo skills ana skills ana tiet hajafundishwa mahali yani funjwa kwa mwalimu wa english uh-huh. na math yes unaona kabisa mimi nimefunjwa kwa mwalimu wa physical fitness kwa pe teacher najua specifically mtu ndamstretchaje mtu ndamwekaje hata cut weight 
Wengine pata bila masema diabetes is true. Watu ni wakubwa unaambia mzazi wake, wewe unipatie tu miezi kadhaa. Miezi kadhaa. Alafu mkulishe hii na hii na hii na hii. Kipia tumefunza mpaka nutrition. Nutrition. Unamwangalia pia hata hata kama ni junk na yani mzazi unajua uko na right kumwambia ni sione mtoto amekula hii. Okay. Alafu pia wazazi unako encouraged. Uh, unasikia na kuambia oh ukitumia nikitumia jina yako kwa nyumba inakuwa strong mm coach mm. beti said uh. no eating junk food mtu uh-huh. anakumbuka coach beti said uh-huh. no eating junk food uh-huh. atakula ile chakula ya anafakula uh-huh. unaona uh-huh. because um trop pia unamwonkari unamwambia nataka kati e weight mm-hmm. tunataka kuna a certain weight because miaka yako uh-huh. e weight ni mingi sana okay. okay. sio kwamba tu mwalimu yote anakuja anakuja na mwalimu wa physics sana ya kadendi manake ya kadendi do ini ini changa moto tazungumza baada ya jua kadendi amekuwa kistrago ku cut weight lakini sasa kabla hatujasonga kwa infrastructure mm-hmm. labda kuna nakumbuka enzi zetu mm-hmm. tukiwa shule ya upili mm-hmm. unaambiwa kwamba uh, ile tu kufanya masomo na sport iwe yeah. hivi mm-hmm. principal ama deputy naibu wa deputy uh, naibu wa principal anasema kwamba mm-hmm. uh, below C+ plus, hakuna kucheza mchezo. Yeah. Hakuna mpaka ukifiki ukishafikisha hiyo alama unaingia kwa ndo school team ndo utaingia okay. kwa school, school team. Hiyo mm. ina sasa alikuwa alikuwa the best principal. Mm. Okay. Unaona? Mm. Because hakuweka sports sports mbele alitakazia mm. patane because alikuwa na future. Aha. Alikuwa naona watoto mm. mm. because si watu walikuja kwa kuwa pro na ah. kweli. sports mm. so that watu wote ndio nakokuwa Neymar na ndakokuwa Ronaldinho hapana. Ah, mm. So una kama hata misa na encourage wale upcoming wachezaji mm-hmm. apart from kukuwa pro mm-hmm. footballer mm-hmm. unaweza kukuwa coach. Mm-hmm. Unaona coach. Mm-hmm. Unaona unaambia mtoto mm-hmm. ju, uh, for instance mimi kitu nilifanya cha football nilikuwa na injury. Mm-hmm. Unaona mm-hmm. tena asivia as injury mm-hmm. kwa, kwa magoti. Mm-hmm. Lakini siku siku kata rona siku lose hope. Mm-hmm. Unaona mm-hmm. nikaona hii it hii hii whatever god amen bless now mm-hmm. what ni impact kwa watoto. Okay. Unaona mm-hmm. sasa huyu kama atapata injury but Mm. kitu tafanya kitu katikati mm. mostly kwanza what is meant sister was channel let me give an example unapata tunitanga ni kukata mguu sio kwanza kupika hiyo ward mm. kukata mguu liko na mancha mpata mimba mm. at early mm. age mm. ndio kukata mguu mm. unajua umechanganikiwa unajiuliza mm. unaona mm. but unaona hata kienda kuzaa kirudi akiona mimi nilikuja nika kwa coach mm. anaweza ku encourage kuja kwa coach Kamisa. so that was a very good principle mm. alio encourage okay. lazima ufite ufikia certain grade grade mm. yeah. in the school team yeah. even ndio inafaa kukua nzuri set mtu anaegemea kwa sports yeah. akasahau mtoto mm-hmm. atakuja malize form 4 na atakuwa ana kitu ana kwa kitu. kichwa mm-hmm. ana karatasi kwa hivi hii ndio performance yangu mm-hmm. it's very sad ilikuwa mbinu nzuri mm. mm. ah, okay. very good idea yeah. no, actually mm-hmm. sasa beti mm-hmm. tumezungumza sana tukasema the importance the why the why not mm-hmm. facilities penye mm-hmm. bakuchezea because uh, i mean you're a good dancer but you don't have a dance floor uh-huh. yeah no, no, it's it's so very it's sad. Good. so it's good mm-hmm. you know, all the good things kusoma mm-hmm. kufundishwa mm-hmm. nutrition uske kadeli wants to cut weight if it is okay at now the facilities betty because one of the biggest problems is the Facil- is the facilities. It's, facilities it's sad it's sad sad what that you get to as our country mm. that is the saddest saddest moment yao wachezaji na youth na watoto hakuna space hamna mmejenga plot kila mahali hakuna viwanja hata kama ni kiwanja iko unapata si kiwanja ile ina ili kwa standard ya mtu kucheza football unaona because mimi sita kudanganya i will tell you for free mm-hmm. niko na maalama huko tuko na nitanga kusorera kusorera ni umechota mtu mm-hmm. ukiamka ni damu na makevi na tuna notice hiyo damu ile Ki, because kiwanja eh umepiga tackle wewe mm-hmm. mslidea mm-hmm. ni kiwanja mm-hmm. ni mchanga tupo mm-hmm. kabisa alafu ni hard ground mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. hizo manyasi juu ni atafa kwa na vitu kama hizo mm-hmm na hiyo shida iko mpaka sahi mm. hakuna viwanja na ile kionyo unapata iko mm. ma teams karibu kama 50 so maintenance yake inakupia pua unapata hiyo kiwanja yeah, hata changing room aina mm. anything mm. mzazi anaogopa ai mtu wangu akienda kutafuta football atabadilisha nguo wapi wangu msichana kabisa that's the kuna na hizo ndo challenges mzazi anaona ai ameenda kutafuta football pale hii nguo atachangia wapi which is true ana choice kwa sababu hakuna changing room tuanze hapo na tisivonja kama ziko 
Oh, oh, oh. imejaa mpaka tauze uzi unandani vizuri yeah. imejaa kusababia nini mm -hmm. huyu wa mebuku huyu wa mebuku huyu wa me... yani akuna space akuna space, Hamu, akuna space. which is very unfortunate <laughs> na ni mamba mba nime shuhudia hata eh. lake kuna wakati nime tembea tembea tu mm. unajua viwanja tu mm. nikapata watoto wakicheza lakini kuna mwanadada mba alikuwa anacheza amevalia tu skate lakini wanacheza tu mpira na vijana wale wengine mm. so unangali unasema ah kwa hapa pana changamoto serikali mm. bado yeah. atujafika kile kiwango ambacho tunahitaji kukuza talanta zi. talanta zipo mm. kabisa mm. ni changamoto ni Dan kiu, ni, hata nikiongeze hiyo <coughs> you know the facilities do encourage mtu mm. yeah, yeah, mimi mtu nimeenda ngamo yeah. ulikuwa unafika unauliza Mungu kwani tulikukosea wapi mm. Mm. unapata wako na kila kitu kutoka kwa gym kutoka kwa kwa kiwanja kutoka kwa equipment everything. Mm. Yaani mpaka unajiambia no wonder how watu by 10 tuwafikie ki football. Ah. Hey, sijuni sijuni ni miaka ngapi nenda rudi. Kabisa. Mm. Facilities ni kitu ina play ina play key role mm. kwa wachezaji. Na facilities mm. I think just to add to what you had said earlier. Mm. Labda pia mzazi akiona the facilities. Mm -hmm. Unajua so yeah. thing of saying yeah. napeleka mtoto wangu kwa pale. Mm -hmm. Unajua so pale mm -hmm. mm -hmm. ni pale. Ile ni Unajua I think that also yeah, brings the confidence. Uh, facilities in a play key role. Okay. Yeah. Because akiona naona eh watu wako so organized. Hizo okay. hizo tunaitanga ki Europe. Mm -hmm. Ikiwa ni Wembley mm -hmm. because wana soft ground. Mm -hmm. Ukiangalia jimi mejipanga kuna changing room pale. Sasa lazima niende nikajitafute nataka kuna kitu angozi juu yaje. Mm -hmm. Mimi mm -hmm. kinge na bag yangu tu vizuri. Changing room nikirudi na ingia kama mchezaji kwa kiwanja. Unaona? Mm -hmm. Ama hiyo siku tuenda kuna mpaka mm -hmm. pool. Mm. Kuna mpaka training ya pool mm. kwa mchezaji. Mm. Kwa maji mnafanya nini uh, wakaut zenyu hapo mm. mnakuja kwa pitch unaona? Hizo mm -hmm. zote facility ni kitu important sana. Kabisa mm. juu ju, kwa sababu kiarie mm. uh, tukizungumzia facilities katika taifa letu. Mm -hmm. uh, unapata kwamba wenye wanaathiriwa sana ni watoto wa kike. Sana, yeah, sana. kijana atakuja tu acheze mm -hmm. acheze na abadilishe mm -hmm. hamna hamna mm -hmm. dhari yoyote mm -hmm. lakini msichana mdogo ambaye anazimia kucheza mm -hmm. inamtatiza discouraging yeah. eh, lakini pia usende tambali mm -hmm. eh, last week tulihost eh, ule madam ule veteran Lilian mm -hmm. Anupi which incidentally ni jirani ya ya beti mm -hmm. it's a small world uh -huh. <laughs> na kasema one of the greatest reason why netball inaenda chini zaidi uh -huh. Ni, net, ni netball they don't have a single field in Kenya yeah. there is no dedicated field in Kenya yeah. mm. ya netball yeah. so kumbuka alisema hapo hivi alisema hewani mm. wanangangamianga nyayo handball na basketball basketball yeah. wana wanangangamianga pale yeah. na wakienda ile kumark na nini kumark mm. inakuangalia yeah. yeah, ina because unajua unataka unataka kama coach uh -huh. uko na specific drills zako ndo kufanya uh -huh. the moment umekati wati indio piece kuna na uko nataka kutumekiwa njia nzima unaona sasa saidi she's very right by the way hata mimi tu kuli sijaona malipopota tipa netball mm -hmm. eh, so, yeah, so, so, mm -hmm. sasa kumbuka kama sasa sasa na ndiye anasema mm -hmm. that is also limiting the growth of growing girls mm -hmm. in the community mm -hmm. to take up netball yeah. manake sport, yeah. Yeah. manake the truth of the matter is mm -hmm. mwenyewe, i don't remember last time you netball just mm -hmm. for an example mm -hmm. you see sir even for facilities and i know nani i know madam agnes masalange alikuja hapa mm -hmm. nairobi city county mm -hmm. eh, governor wetu sakaja ana mikakati ya ku reclaim social halls no. na facilities no. yeah. which is a really bright idea really yeah. good idea yeah. but for us we would like it yarakishwe yarakishwe no, because, because watu pia wana groove haraka yeah, because mm. pia mm. kama beti anasema there is a lot of good ya kutaka kucheza na kusoma mm. na all the hizo pointers zote mm. then with the facilities na mm -hmm tarudi pale pale tu pale pale itakuwa ni the same same story uh -huh. the same same story uh -huh. wacha nitumelie english mwalimu mungu wapenda kuniambianga uh -huh. time we said never recover so uh -huh. the mungu government waste time uh -huh. unaenda uh -huh. hakuna time to recover sema ti ju masa hii mwaka imeisha huyu uh -huh. mtoto wangu atacheza football mwaka mwingine hiyo uh -huh. mwaka ikienda imeenda ndio mtu pia na grow unapata mwisho uh -huh mwisho hauna mwisho mwisho uh -huh. sasa ina mwisho na nini na sasa maana pia na hii labda tunikuguzia tu manake pia mm. we addressing parents and the community out yeah. here yeah. Yeah. CBC mm -hmm. has come in with a lot of the talent development mm -hmm. na kutilia and that's why tuna kitu kama Max you know tuna ni, because tutataka an all round person all yes, round person yeah. 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 so taki kujua hata kujua ati kadeli tunakujua sababu ya report card yako na mm -hmm. your position in class mm -hmm. tutaka kukujua kama what else you can do 
Uh -huh. I mean, we can do this and this. Uh -huh. What are your yeah. views? CBC me, CBC me come in in handy. Uh -huh. It may encourage sana watoto kwa sababu. Uh -huh. During our times, kama mna kumbuka, uh -huh. number last walikuwa na angali ungo na machomba sana. Kabisa. Mm -hmm. Mkikumbuka. Mm -hmm. Bako mkune kongwa number one, anaka number last. Hey. So kutuwe ni baka ura sweat. Jujuwe <laughs> na kutibidate. Mm -hmm. We the same class. Mm -hmm. But ujua CBC ime, ime, ime kamini na we that hata kama hafanyi vizuri sana class, mm -hmm. kuna kitu tu mahali tu. Kuna kitu, kuna kitu, kitu mahali tu mahali. Hey. Weather na imba vizuri, mm -hmm. mzuri kwa gita. Mm -hmm. Eni kuna talent tu mahali tu. Mm -hmm. Eni kuna kitu at least akifika mahali. Mm -hmm. Kwa class nini wazuri lakini hapa mindi ya kusema. Yeah. And so that means your confidence. Yeah, and build confidence mm. out to it. I thank God for this. Be swallowed, mambo. I could not repeat. I could repeat. Pendo kona. Na dushanga ototo nyuma. Wow. Umu baki apa au wajui. Mentally, emotionally, na kuna soma. Kamu ko grade four. Wala tu ko ako grade six. Ondo le ulipana. Wewe wewe. Taku ko repeat mara ni. Sasa wana CBC na saidi. Tunayenda tu. Tunasonga na tu mbere sisi wote. CBC na kujia inhandi vizuri because ina encourage ototo weto. Kujiamini. Mm -hmm. Kujiamini. Sasa hiyo nini yako ya yu WhatsApp yako ya Sports na Academia. Sports na Academia. Labda sasa zina CBC na SBC. CBC na SBC na mzuri. Because ndo nawambia. Aneza kusati si mzuri sana lakini at least. Mm -hmm. Enu ukimskuma tu. Eni aneza song. Aneza move. Mm -hmm. Na mkuje tutoshane. Unaona? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Kabisa. Ha, hey, Ekadeli. Na ndiyo, na ndiyo umuhimu. Mm -hmm. Tulikuja hapo kwa mhuja hapo muda unatupa kisogo. Mm -hmm. Hapo kwa umuhimu. Kwa mba tunaambia wazazi, mm -hmm. sporti na akadamia zikuwe sawa. Zikuwe patani. Eh, siku zijazo mm -hmm. ama wakati amba utakuja mtoto mm -hmm. wakisha kuwa mkubwa. Mm -hmm. Unona kwa mba beti. Mm -hmm. Beti ni kocha. Mm -hmm. Alisoma. Yeah. Yeah. Lakini chenye kina msaidia sasa hivi ni sporti amba alicheza. Sasa yeah. hivi ni kocha. Mm -hmm. eh, lakini alisoma. Yeah. Yeah. Unusha wana. Mm -hmm. Sasa zinasaidia mtoto yeah. hapo eh, maisha kabisa ndio muhimu eh <laughs> kabla ndio ai lakini ai isme ai sasa ai <laughs> isme la coach bi najua sasa nataka nikujifunze kusema coach bi yes coach bi tutaka bi tutaka kwa titi kama mm. tu nataka mm. nataka tuingie kwa coach bi mm. very easy <laughs> coach bi coach bi mm -hmm. your last words i mean what is that last word of encouragement when you are the growing girl in the community mm -hmm. awesome there's encourage kwanza mzazi niki encourage mzazi ni encourage you grown girl okay. uh -huh. because mimi na encourage, encourage wazazi na your life imekuwa hard kwa kila mtu uh -huh. but to see lose hope uh -huh. shikilia mtoto wako uh -huh. na talent ile yako nayo uh -huh. because believe me talent uh -huh. e talent uh -huh. utakumbuka siku moja itamsaidia mahali uh -huh. na unge through experience uh -huh. mimi talent hiyo nilikuwa nimekatazwa nikiwa mdogo uh -huh. ndo saizi na nilipia bills nilikulisha so na, na encourage huo msichana mdogo uh -huh. asi lose hope uh -huh. si lazima tu desisi wote pro Mm. Uli sema awali. Mm. Tunaweza kuwa sisi wote tulikuwa na pro lakini mm. kama mimi najivunia size kwa coach. Mm. But na na najikaza na nataka mm. kwa international coach. International. Sasa nimefika sana mimi nimetosheka. Mm -mm. mm -mm. Najikaza usiku na mchana mm -hmm. na, na believe in Mwenyezi Mungu. Coach wa Rambe Stalin yes. something. Yes, na mimi ndo napeleka team World Cup. Ni wambela last time kabisa. Ya no no unasema utatupeleka World Cup. Ile team da coach ya national team ndo imetenda World Cup. Ndio World Cup. Yes. Unakupata wapi? Ah um, kwa mtandao mm -hmm. uh, saizi ni meshat kidogo mm -hmm. nijua niko kwa masomo ah, kabisa e, kabisa sasa ni, mimi na mtandao tunamalizana mpaka mm -hmm. march mm -hmm. lakini mnaweza nipata uh, kwa 0722112374 mm -hmm. jina hiyo mm -hmm. namba yangu mm -hmm. jina yangu ni beti ya nyango cheng mm -hmm. aka titi kamara coach b mm -hmm. na nauza sports merchandise mm -hmm. sasa kama unataka kitu yote ni kuzia sports Aha. namba ndio 0722112374 mm -hmm. urudi mta, urudi mtandao ni maana mm -hmm. hata tiktok unaweza kachukua video pa Mm -hmm. ukiwafanyisha zoezi wale mm -hmm. makinda mm -hmm. tutawata furahi and in time alafu tutaona ndarudi lakini unachosema hivi i think miaka ikifika mm -hmm. kuna mm -hmm. vitu unaweka kando kidogo tu wewe una focus on eh. una kama sasa mimi nikitoka hapa nataka eh. deli kutoka leo mm -hmm. nataka njifunze kusamanga coach b yani coach b coach b sasa kwa kitu kasi le para titi kamara ibaki ni jina lakini sunyi sasa ya mtunza ya mta sasa nataka nikitoka hapa njifunze coach b na na mimi i think kwangu ni a bit of key lessons but kwa hiyo shughuli yote i think discipline has come out very strongly yes number two, i think the parent amekuwa katikati ya he conversation sana mm. like he's very key yeah. the parent is very, very key, key. Mm -hmm. kwa the success of the sports hiyo balance ya sports na academia yes. and i think for me atatu mm -hmm. ni ile nini ya talent identification kuna mm -hmm. kitu beti amesema mm -hmm. akasema 
talent identification hii mm. ninafanyanga mm. everything else in role uh -huh. mtoto miaka 5 anapiga drum mm -hmm. mtoto storyteller mm -hmm. msanii ile art mm -hmm. ile kuchora tu ile swimming anything. swimming mm -hmm. and i think those are the three key things mm -hmm. and i think uh, academia maana mm -hmm. kinajua umesema mwisho penye mwisho penye mwisho kuna mwanzo tunaomba sana vitu ziendelee kuwa hivi katika Amen. studio katika yes. maoni yetu uh -huh. ndio hatimaye uh -huh. tuweze kuwa na mtu kama beti kabisa coach b yes. coach b unataka ni coach b sasa jifunze pia na nikisema pia nafanya eh coach b coach b coach b eh nataka pia najifunze sasa coach b sasa ni hivi akwe pia akwe pia mchanganuzi wetu naam maana hii ni maona maana hii unajua pia unasemanga hewani alafu unasema nyume ya tent kuna mtaalamu kumtala mtaala mtaala tutamuita hapa tena lakini ile siku tutamuita hapa tena tutamuita juu ya merchandise merchandise ndio pia maana yake unajua zile changamoto pia wasichana sijui kuna kuna sports brush you what lakini yote tisa tutaweza baadaye ndio hiyo mtazamaji wamezungumza ni mjadala ambao tumeburudishwa hapa na tumai mzazi umejifunza mengi mimi sina lingine la ziada ila kukushukuru beti na tutaungana tena Asante. wakati mwingine yes. e, japo sijaondoka e, kuna wakati mmoja nikiwa pale uh, kijijini e. E, turukana e. tumeketi na mjomba unajua kwamba asubuhi yake ilikuwa ni safiri nije mjini aka tumeketi pale tukichoma nyama mjomba akaniambia unaenda mjini adogo kasema naenda mjini kesho kipi kinakufurahisha kule kasema mandhari marafiki wapya watu wamesoma mambo kama hayo kani akaniuliza tena ukitaka kufa haraka utafanya nini kasema ah mjomba si unachukua tu kamba unajinyonga ama unajirusha tu kwa building fulani unaanguka unakufa kasema hapana unaenda mjini kukaa tuseme miaka nne masomo yako na harakati zako kasema ndio Uh, ukitaka kufa kwa haraka anza kuridhisha wanadada wa mjini kasema ah hii mjomba hilo linatokea wapi ah ukienda uta, uki, ukirudi utaniambia hasa ni miaka miwili ambayo ambapo nimeishi mjini sasa nasubiri aniende kwa mjomba manake niligundua kuwa alisema kweli wenye ukweli wa kweli ndani yake sasa nikirudi nitaambia <laughs> mjomba tutapata, tutapatana tena wikendi ijao panapo majaliwa ya Mwenyezi Mungu sisi tunasifa kwa sasa